Hello, Libras. Hello, Libras. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. I'm going to be doing your reading for this the week of March the 8th through March 15th. This reading is going to be for Libra. Libras. Sun rising and Venus. So if you have um, Libra and your sun rising, Venus or moon sign, this reading is for you. This reading will not resonate with every Libra out there. Also, if you don't know your... Um, if you have Libra in your birth chart, you can go to Cafe Astrology to find out. Again, this reading is for the sign of Libra for the week of March 8th through the 15th. Spirit. And I have one card for Libra's present energy. Too many cards. One card for Libra's present energy. Okay, we have the lovers. The lovers. Gemini energy is here, so you could be dealing with a Gemini. Can I have one? Okay, one. What's influencing the lovers is the Queen of Cups. Water energy is here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What's the past energy spirit? Okay. That was too many cards. What's the... Actually, the cards are sticking together, but the past energy is the Queen of Wands. That's fire energy. So we have water, air, and fire. Well, we have water and fire energy, and we have Gemini here. So Libras, you could be dealing with a Gemini... Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. The past energy, the immediate past energy is the Ace of Wands. More fire energy. That is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. What's the crown in thoughts? Spirit, what is the crown in thoughts? For the sign of Libra. What is the crown and thoughts for the sign of Libra? Okay. We have the Ten of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Future energy. I'm going to take the two cards that came out that were facing down. I have Justice and I have the Nine of Cups. So we have um, for Justice Libra, that's your energy. And then we have Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy is here. <clears throat> okay, so what are your fears? What is Libra's fears? What is Libra's fears? Okay. The 
Eight of Wands. How do others see you? How do others see you? Others see you as... Where's that card that flipped over? I saw one card flip over. What happened to it? Okay. I don't see it now. But I'm sure it'll pop back up. How do I just see Libra Spirit? Okay. Strength. That's Leo, so you could be done with a Leo. A Leo. What are you hoping for? The world. And what is your outcome? What is your outcome for the week of March 8th through the 15th? I have the Ten of Swords here. Air energy. Your energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And at the bottom of the deck, I have a page of cups. Okay. So, we are going to get started. So, the current energy, Leo, is the lovers. So, you could be thinking about a Gemini, dealing with a Gemini, or you could be thinking of matters of the heart. You could be thinking of A relationship. And. Maybe wanting. And I'm just going off of. What I'm seeing in a car. You could be wanting. Um, some light. Because I'm looking at the light. That's coming down. From the. the is, I, I guess that's the moonlight shining light on the lover so you could want um some light shed it on a situation pertaining to your love relationship what is influencing this um situation is the queen of cups that is cancer pisces scorpio energy so you could be either, and this this um, message could be vice versa. So um, if this is not how you feel, this is could be how your partner feels. But the Queen of Cups represents someone who is kind. Caring, loving, nurturing. And in this card, she has a cup to give away in her hand. So you could be thinking about a situation pertaining to love. Or who are you going to give this cup of love to? The next energy, which is the past energy, would be the Queen of Wands. And so far, well, there are only two two um, queens here. Okay, so the Queen of Wands represents a woman that takes action. 
She's a busybody. She's always on the go. She's fun. She's cheerful. She's happy. She's warm-hearted. And um, she's always working. So, what I'm seeing so far is there is a situation regarding love and someone may need to take action or has taken action to give an offer of love to you Libra or maybe Libra you're offering or giving give giving someone an offer of love because another thing I see is um for your immediate past energy is the ace of wands and that is fire energy so you could be dealing with a fire sign Leo Sagittarius Aries energy and this wand represents the male frolic so someone could have um, sex on their mind and he's these hands are to me resemble someone wanting to give this wine to you, Libra, or you to them. And it's on fire, it's flaming, it's ready to go. So this is more action. And um, it could represent a, a new venture in life, um, maybe pregnancy, but something new or pertaining to sex. Some, someone is offering this to you. Your crowning thoughts are the Ten of Cups, Water Energy, Scorpio Cancer, Pisces. Um, you're thinking about love. You are thinking about commitment, marriage, a happy family, that's what's on your mind at this time. And your future, we have justice, which is your energy. So you may need to balance something in order to get this um this this love that's on your mind, this happy family. You could need to also Well, according to going off of the surrounding cards, I'm going to just say that um, you need to have some balance in your life because the other card that came out with justice, which is your card, Libra, was the nine of cups. So that's wish fulfillment. So you're thinking about this um, happy family, loving relationship and then your future energy says that your wish has been fulfilled or it is going to be fulfilled and it's justice came out as well so justice is served by wish fulfillment but you fear communication you fear this fast um, conversation that's going to take place and with the strength being next you need strength to sit in this conversation
you need strength at this time. But you're going to be moving forward with the world card. You will be moving forward with the world card. So you will be um, successful and happy in this relationship. You will achieve your goal with this happy family, happy life situation and your outcome is the ten of swords and I'm going to find out why the ten of swords is there because the ten of swords represents some type of disappointment so I'm going to find out with the um using the tattoo tarot deck. I want to know why this um, ten of swords is here. That card came right out. And then we have the knave of swords. So this um, situation could be pertaining to or you you could be disappointed because you need because you have some type of um, unseen surprise or you're waiting for some type of um, spirit. What? Why is the name of sorts here for the sign of Libra? Okay, so this could be pertaining to some type of decision that needs to take place. Spirit wise, the two of wands here. Some type of blockage could be taken, could um, be in the way of this um, Ten of Cups. Okay, so. The Two of Wands is there. The Two of Wands is there because Okay, that is the Two of Wands. Okay, so this is this is your outcome. Okay, so you have the Ten of Wands. And I'm sorry, I thought there was the Ten of Swords, but I mean the Two of Swords, but that's the Two of Wands. So you will be successful. Someone um, maybe had thought you or your partner could have thought that there was some um, something secret going on or some type of um, and discretion was going on, maybe thinking that there was going to be some surprise on down the road, but you have success. And then what came out after that for clar the clarifier for the two of wands was the ten of cups. So you have two ten of cups. So Libra, that is your reading. I'm going to pull um, a love oracle card, but. It's just, it's love all over this reading. So, that's a good sign. I 
I put that card that fell out back in the deck because it slipped. I kind of like dropped it out my hand. It didn't. It didn't. Um. Come out. Okay, this card. This is with spirit. The card that spirit wanted to come out. It says soulmates, a soul connection, partnership, agreement, con or contract. So, <clears throat> more clarity regarding your love situation. And um, that's your reading for the week, Libra. I am wishing you love, light, and peace. Enjoy your week, and I'll see you next time. Oh, yeah, hit the subscribe button and the notification. So you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified for the upcoming readings. Bye.